Leo Varadkar took over as Fine Gael leader in 2017, but he joined the party nearly 20 years earlier while studying to be a doctor. If I was ready in 10 years' time, I'd like to be in Leinster House. The son of a nurse born in Waterford and a doctor born in India, in 2007 he was elected to the Dáil at the age of 28, becoming an outspoken new TD. You're a guard for Sterled. You've, you, you've doubled the you've tripled the national debt. You've uh, uh, effectively destroyed the country. It's the last thing you do. So enjoy writing your boring articles in the Irish Times in a few years' time. Despite backing the losing side in the heave against Enda Kenny, he was elevated to cabinet. Minister for Transport, Tourism and Sport, Dr. Moving later to the Department of Health and then Social Protection. He backed Garda whistleblowers at a time of major controversy. There have been many words to use to describe their actions in recent months. But if I was to use one word, the word I would use is distinguished. Leo Varadkar played a key role in the same-sex marriage referendum a few months after he came out as a gay man. By 2017, he was clearly aiming to lead Fine Gael. So I have absolute confidence uh, that he will know when the right time is to go uh, for him, uh, for the party and for the country. A leadership race followed with Leo Varadkar running a slick campaign. He emerged triumphant, paving the way for his ascent to the highest political office. Ten years after he was first elected to the Dáil, Leo Varadkar became Ireland's youngest ever Taoiseach. The government I lead will be one of the new European centre as we seek to build a republic of opportunity and that is a republic in which every citizen gets a fair go and has the opportunity to, to succeed. He was hailed internationally as he represented the country abroad. An early highlight was the Brexit deal, safeguarding the Irish border, an achievement he hung his hat on. They are politically bulletproof, they're cast iron, if you see the language that's there um, uh, in, in the paragraphs. Um, it talks about uh, commitment to avoiding a hard border. But there were controversies too, including one which nearly brought down the government and the cervical check failings were a low point of his premiership. We are sorry for the failures of clinical governance. Sorry for the failures of leadership and management. Sorry for the failure to tell the whole truth and to do so in a timely manner. And he had to roll back on a promise made to women affected. There was also major social change with the passing of the referendum to repeal the Eighth Amendment, paving the way for wider access to abortion. What we've seen today really is um, a culmination of a quiet revolution that's been taking place in Ireland for the past uh, 10 or 20 years. In 2020, he led Fine Gael into a general election campaign that sought to capitalise on his image. But his party finished behind Fianna Fáil and Sinn Féin. Accepting defeat, he resolved to go into opposition. The pandemic kiss and the caretaker Tishuk made the first of many addresses to the nation, ushering in unprecedented restrictions on people's lives. And it's going to involve big changes in the way we live our lives. After months of talks, he brought Fine Gael into government with the old civil war enemy and the Green Party, serving as Tonishta to the Fianna Fáil Tishuk. In December 2022, Leo Varadkar returned to the office of Taoiseach as part of the coalition agreement, a period which saw the relaxation of COVID-19 restrictions, but world events soon dominated much of his domestic challenges. The war in Ukraine resulted in over 100,000 refugees arriving here. And more recently, the crisis in Gaza saw the government's position come under scrutiny, some praising Ireland's response others calling for the government to take a firmer line against Israel. Tommy Meskel, RTE News.